Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I am going to show you a how-to video on how to clean and butcher an iguana, a green iguana. I had the pleasure of going iguana hunting with my husband down in Florida very recently and we were able to get six in a very short amount of time on a cast and blast adventure. So we got to catch some fish and shoot some iguana. And we took home six of them and we butchered them up and kept the meat and stay tuned on this channel and I will show you a couple of the recipes that we are going to use to eat them. But for today's video, I'm going to walk you through how we butchered this iguana. And um, this is not a video for the faint of heart, so stop right here if you don't wanna see an iguana being skinned and butchered and quartered. But if that's what you're here for, I hope that's what you're here for. Stay tuned because here comes the video. Okay, so we're going to show you how we cleaned our iguanas so that we could take the meat home and eat it. You do start by filleting underneath the neck portion, right underneath those dorsal spiny protrusion scales and just get your fillet knife in nice and close like you would if you were skinning any other animal or filleting meat off of a scaly fish just use a nice sharp knife and get it started and um, get that top portion right off that dorsal area uh, once you get that part off which isn't too difficult you do need a sharper knife because the skin is tough then you just start peeling and this part is probably the most like difficult if you want to say difficult just because the skin is kind of tough and it doesn't it doesn't want to come off super easy so you do have to work it a little bit and this was our first time doing this so this was trial and error we uh, took home six of these iguanas and so by the time we got to the third or fourth one, it kind of became an easier task because we had a routine and a plan down. So you're going to work that skin um, all the way down the limbs, a little bit down on the tail, around off, off of the entire body. And once you get to a certain point, to, we found it was really easy to get off of the limbs if you cut the little feet off of the front and the back legs, just like you would any other, you know, cleaning a bird, you don't eat the wing tips or, you know, you're, if you're doing this with a deer, you don't eat the hooves. It's the same kind of mentality. So we cut the uh, very ends of the feet off and there's a joint there, your knife, if you have a nice sharp knife, it should go right in between that joint. It shouldn't be that difficult to do. And then once you get those off, uh, we keep working that skin down and over those limbs. Around the neck area, you might have to use your knife to loosen some of that tissue or even start filleting down like that dorsal part of the neck, like just like we did on the ventral part. I'm sorry, vice versa. On the ventral part, just like we did on the dorsal part. Um, that ventral neck has a little bit of connective tissue. So if you see he's working that knife just to get through to that tissue to pull that down just like we did on those dorsal spines and then once we release a little bit of that tissue as you can see it's just going to start to pull and we're just going to get that skin to pull right down um, it's not super super easy but it it will pull down um, and it looks like we're going to get those front legs out probably first there's not a lot of meat on the upper body of these iguanas. The, the majority of the, of the meat on the upper body is going to be in those front legs. If we had super, super big iguanas, you might be able to get something like where the back strap would be, but these smaller ones didn't have anything. So we cut the front legs and then we're going to pull the back legs out. And then the tail comes out right at the part where the meat pretty much ends. If you can see there's still meat at that tail um, or skin at the end of the tail. Now we're just going to dissect those back legs away from the joints. And once we do that, the back legs are done. So they've been skinned and they've been removed from the body. So we're going to eat those 
very similar to like a chicken wing. Um, you can you can cook those. You can barbecue them. You can um, saute them. You can bake them. You can deep fry them. You can do anything you want with those. Those are there's a lot of good meat on there. So like I said, the tail portion still has a little bit of skin on it. If it's these are smaller iguanas, you might get more meat if you had a bigger one. Um, but he's gonna try to get some more of that skin off, but that kind of gets to a point where there's it just won't go anymore, and then you know that's where your meat pretty much ends. And then we're going to fillet that tail meat off into four sections in a second here. This is very similar to alligator. If anybody has been lucky enough to um, harvest some alligators, the meat is all in the tail. It's the good part. It's it's the fillets that everybody wants out of the tail for the gator nuggets and things like that. So once you get to that point where you can't get any more skin off, you're just going to go right along the tailbone. It's going to start here on that side. It's just going to go right along the tailbone. And you're going to fillet that out. Very similar to a back strap. You just fillet it really close to the bone and right around it. And there's four sections. You'll see that. We'll, we'll show you all four of them here. It's a pretty decent chunk of meat for a small iguana. And you can do anything with this, um, this part of the meat. You can grind it for sliders. You can um, chop it up and fry it up like nuggets. Um, you can do anything you want with it. It's This is just a good clean piece of flesh. So it can be prepared in multiple different ways. So there's going to be two on the dorsal side and two on the ventral side. You'll see here we've got the two on the top almost out. This is the easiest thing that we have found to do this. If you guys have um, tips or tricks, or if you know something that we don't, please share. If you can see from the video here, I don't know if it's gonna go up high enough for you to see the rest of the body. Uh, this was a female and there's a lot of eggs in inside waiting to, <laughs> just looks like she's ready to give birth. <laughs> All right, so now we've flipped it over. We're going to do the other side. There's two more portions of tail meat to get out. Just filleting along that tailbone. It's a little bit of a delicate procedure because there's not a lot of meat so you don't want to waste any of it but it's well worth it and the last one and then when we're done with this all we have left is the front legs we had uh, disarticulated that front section off of the body so that we could pull the skin. Uh, so we're going to go back and get the rest of the skin off of those two front legs so we have two more uh, pieces of meat to be able to eat off of this iguana. So on all the iguanas that we took, we took all four legs and we took four sections of meat from, from the tail. So technically we got eight pieces of meat off of each iguana. There we go, that's the tail. So here's the front half. Just have to pop those legs out. Getting a little bit of traction on that skin is probably the hardest part. And pop them out. Told you the skin is kind of tough. There we go. There's both of them. Just have to cut it away from connective tissues. 
And the way we've done it here uh, makes it so that there really isn't any prep before we cook these. So there's no like additional meat or ribs or bones or anything to take off. It's okay, folks. So the end of that video kind of cut out on me and I couldn't figure out how to get like one more second. But what I was going to say at the end of that video is that the way we have it cleaned and disarticulated and um, separated, it's ready to go, ready to cook, ready to eat. So there's no more cleaning, no more uh, dissecting anything. It's ready to go. So what we did is we separated the tail meat into one bag and then we're going to probably get two meals of legs and arm meat. So. Uh, the tail meat isn't that much, so we're probably going to eat that all in one meal. And so stay tuned uh, later, because hopefully I'm going to get some good pictures and videos. My first attempt at iguana tacos is coming up. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.